All Night Long was written by Lionel Richie in 1983. It is multicultural in that it combines Swahili with Spanish and the language of the Caribbean. He wrote the song about his vacations in the Caribbean. He focused mainly on the beats people dance to when they go on vacation and what the native islanders listen to daily. The U.S. military reported that it was played on the streets of Baghdad during the 2003 invasion of Iraq. He, he commented that he had all the elements to the song, but no ending. He said that finally the heavens opened up and he was able to complete the song. <laughs> Although credited to Benny Goodman, Chick Webb, and Edgar Sampson, the real composers of Stomping at the Savoy was Sampson, who wrote the tune for Chip Webb's band. Sampson was Webb's alto sax player. The piece was named after a well-known Savoy ballroom in Harlem, a popular dance venue that, unlike the downtown Houghton Club, was integrated, where black and white Americans danced together. Andy Razoff later wrote lyrics to the tune, and Goodman and Webb, somewhat egotistically, added their names to the credit when the bands recorded Stompin' at the Savoy. <laughs> Thank you. 
Thanks very much. We appreciate that. Um, want to fill you in on what's going to happen in intermission because, again, this is uh, new and different. So uh, what we'll be doing as soon as we play this last tune, if the symphonic band members would begin to make their way to the stage, get your instruments, go ahead and start warming your horns up. Um, uh, these guys here that are involved will have to do a clothing adjustment and uh, they'll be joining us. So uh, we'll be warming up. And so we're going to take an intermission, but we're going to be warming up during the intermission. Feel free to, you know, avail yourself of the facilities and, uh, you know, visit with your friends or whatever. And uh, then we'll be beginning probably in about 15 minutes after we start to warm up. So if you'll just be patient with us there. Our last tune's Mac the Knife. The character of Mac the Knife first appeared in England around 1728 in the Beggar's Opera by John Gay. Uh, Gay's character was sort of a gentleman thief, a, a likable criminal. Uh, an interesting hi historical aside is that the Beggar's Opera was the first musical play to be performed in colonial New York and was uh, attended by George Washington. Fast forward about 200 years uh, when the play was revived in England in 1920. German playwright Bertolt Brecht attended and thought it should be adapted to suit the new era. He worked with Kurt Weil to produce the Three Penny Opera. The newly minted Mac is a much darker and more dangerous character. No longer a gentleman, he's now an underworld cutthroat. Uh, the song Mac the Knife was written for this production. Although performed by many, including Louis Armstrong, Bobby Darin, and the most, the most well-known uh, popular version was Darin's in 1959. So here, featuring uh, Don McGregor on piano and the entire ensemble on the final shout chorus is Mac the Knight. <laughs> 